Hey guys, uh, we're going into Valagar Mondo today. Uh, it's going to be a four turn clear, so we're going to miss the uh, emblem, but at least we'll get the crown. Um, I'm guessing this fight was made for Cyan and EX3 Cyan to do a super limit burst on turn three, but we don't have him, so we'll do a turn four clear. And this is the team we have. So we have Realm on Lakshmi with Unstoppable Protection learned. Uh, we have Ifrit equipped on somebody in the party. Um, let's see what else. Yeah, that's it as far as Espers go. Any skills or anything related to Espers. So we're going for fire damage clear. So here's Realm's build. She has an Irony's Ring uh, to quad cast. Uh, Ferega on the kill turn and Dragon's Brush um, for some LB fill on turn one. We're not doing her LB until turn two. And uh, I know her, she's going to be using a skill that Captain costs uh, AK HP, but uh, they have stat buffs. So her HP is actually with this build like around 24,000 in the fight, so you could probably drop a little HP from her. But her damage is neg negligible anyway, so it really doesn't matter. Uh, she's got no bird killer. So Saban, uh, he's gonna be in the base form most of the fight. Doesn't need dual cast. So here's his shift form build. Uh, just high magic. He has his own either TMR or STMR for that flat 500 magic that skill gives. Um, I did door pot his magic just for some added damage. Uh, I got A clear and then my subsequent tries weren't quite doing it. So boosted him a little bit. But he's got 200 physical bird killer. If I understand right, his skills are physical attacks that deal magic damage. Uh, Celeste is going to be taking all of the damage in the fight. It's all ice damage, so she's got a lot of ice resist. Um, it's a there's a 200% in peril to ice field that the boss puts up, so she needs around 300 with the buff. She's only going to be in the base form on one turn where she takes damage, so she should be okay. But here's her gear. She's got Yoshi's card, and she's got 200 bird killer and 200 LB damage. And then shift form, just a lot of ice resist. She's got Craftsman Secret Book. She's going to be, be imbuing herself with fire. And some LB fill. And not sure if I showed Saban's card. He's got Saul's card. So Terra, uh, she's got full Hisami scroll to cast Barbless Ega. And that's it in the base form. Shift form, uh, she's got Luna Frey's STMRs. Um, just to synergize with Realm's Rod and Peril. Not sure if having her upgraded sword would deal more damage than this or not. But anyway, there are her stats. And she's got Celeste's card for that, what is it, 300, 300 flat magic spirit attack and defense on Final Fantasy VI characters, so that's nice. And Edgar, uh, base form doesn't really, well, base form, yeah, he has some preemptive LB fill. We're going to be going for um, an LB on turn one with him, and he's got auto bravery equipped. And couldn't work in a fire imbue on him, so I just have him equipped with a fire weapon. That's the highest attack fire weapon I could find. The one-handed fire weapon, anyway. But here's his gear. And he's got 300 bird, 800 jump damage. So we'll get into it. And everybody's starting in the base form on 
So we're going to shift Celeste and we are going to triple magic tech will life devoted to the opera that gives avian killer and um, LB fill and Shelga just to boost her in stats. It's, it's the upgraded Shelga. Uh, Sabin on this turn he is going to use his uh, Undying Spirit to buff his own magic. Realm is going to cast Unstoppable Protection. Edgar is going to shift and he's going to do his shifted LB to imperil spears and do his jump skill some modifiers. And Terra is going to Barbosea. turn Celeste is going back to the base form and she's just gonna cover. Sabin is going to imbue himself with fire with uh, meditation flaming soul and just whatever else breathing technique. Realm this turn Oh, her LB is not quite full. That's okay. We might be alright. So, in lieu of her LB, we are going to just uh, flame sketch to amplify fire damage for Edgar. And Edgar's gonna jump. I wanna say it's just a 10% versus 15%. Most of the damage is coming from Terra here anyway, so. All right, this turn, Realm is gonna do her cooldowns. Saban actually doesn't have anything to do this turn. Celeste is going back to the shift form and she's going to imbue herself with fire with furnace flames from the Craftman secret book. And Terra's going to shift and power up. So we'll cast Transbers, Magitech, Magitech Power Release Fire, and just punch a few times. This turn, Realm is going to quad cast Ferrega. Sabin is going to shift. And he's going to cast Rising Phoenix three times and God Hand to cap. Celeste is going back to the base form and she's going to do her LB. And Terra is going to LB. So we'll send Terra, wait a couple sec. Seconds, start the chain, wait a second, send Celeste, and then drop Edgar in there somewhere. There we go. So the boss has two billion, so this is kind of a tight clear, and it's pretty gear intensive, but like I said, I'm pretty sure they were just, they had this fight to try to sell Cyan, so. So, yeah, Edgar wasn't too far behind Terra, that's impressive. So, anyway, hope this helped, thanks for watching.